I give you a short introduction, treatment options and criteria for decision making. Then, of course, we're going to talk about the three potential treatments in the posterior maxilla. When to use short implants, when to do a uh, window or osteotome technique simultaneously, when to do it staged. Then we talk about healing periods, long-term results of implants and conclusions. We have 45 minutes, that's not much, so we have to speed a little bit. Let me start with an introduction. We have a lot of positive aspects in the field of implant dentistry. I did my first implant cases in 1984, that's a long time ago. I treated more than 5,000 patients. I continue to treat about 150 patients a year, so I know what I'm talking about. We have seen tremendous progress. And the positive aspect is that we are in a phase of routine, we treat primarily partially edentulous patients, that's about 95%. Many baby boomer, so the average patient in Bern is now more than 60 years of age, as in my age category. And about two-thirds of the implants are placed in the posterior mac, uh, jaws and one-third in the anterior region where aesthetic, we have a high aesthetic demand. Very important. You see some of the long-term cases not even to discuss here. The other one is that the implant therapy is highly predictable, but you have to follow certain guidelines to achieve that. That includes, of course, that you should only use well-documented implants and biomaterials, use proven surgical and prosthetic protocols as provided, for example, by the ITI, and also very important was discussed in the discussion period, patients need to be kept in the maintenance care program, 